And it still has not finished as of yet. Let me step aside and show you people who are still in line. These are not just people who were not able to get inside. These are people who are still waiting in line outside to speak. Public comment started around 830 and they are continuously hearing people and probably will be for at least the next hour. Here was how we got to this point tonight. Nearly two hours before the doors opened, many were already waiting outside. The topic they were eagerly awaiting inside the Rockland Unified School District meeting, should parents be told if their students request to use a name, pronoun, or restroom that aligns with their child's gender identity but not their assigned sex at birth? Michael Maldonado is a parent of an 11th and 6th grader in the school district. He's for the proposed policy change. It's my child. It's not the state's. It's not the city. It's not the school district. It's my child. I'm the one that has ultimate power over those decisions that that child has. I'm the one that raises them, not the government. Travis Mojet is the Rockland Teacher Professional Association president and a teacher in the district. He's against the change. We're here to stand up against a board policy or a proposed amendment to a board policy that will violate state law. Um, that will risk students' safety and essentially erode any trust we have with students in the classroom. There wasn't enough room to allow all out here to go inside when the meeting began. <laughs> Once inside, the crowd on both sides cheering when they liked what they heard. Nearly two hours after the meeting began, the public had its say, more than a hundred of them. Children have rights too. If you can't honor our rights, what the hell are you doing on school boards? I'm a whole. Parents are the best protectors of children and have the natural right and duty for the care, custody, and control of their children. So again, there are about 15 people still waiting outside to have their voices heard. That is coupled with those who were already inside waiting their turn to speak. We do expect a vote on this, but that is not going to happen until after everybody has had their say. That could potentially last until midnight or later. We're going to keep checking in throughout the hour here and be back with you as well at 11 o'clock. In Rockland, covering local news that matters, I'm Eric Rucker, Fox 40 News.